What's going on everybody? Dave back again and welcome to Star Shadow Woodworks and Hobbies. Today I have an unboxing that I should have done two, two and a half months ago. I ended up picking this up before I had my accident. I'm going to do an unboxing because I already paid for it and it's already past its return date. You guys know that I love my electric vehicles, hence you can't really see it, but the beast over there, which is a Kabu Wolf Warrior, Wolf Warrior 11, I think is what they call it. I've made all kinds of modifications to it. I may be selling it to get a aerial rider bike or something like that. And my boss would prefer if I actually got rid of all electric vehicles and got a car, though he does a Tesla. Um, that's not me. I'm not, I'm not scared of the scooter after having an accident. It wasn't its fault. It was my fault. Actually, it was nobody's fault. It was the city's fault. Uh, I ended up hitting basically a miniature pothole, which was the equivalent of you driving your car and hitting where there should have been a manhole, but the cover wasn't on there. Basically, that's why it ended up happening to me. I apologize if I get glossier throughout this video because I am in my garage and it is currently 106 degrees and I have the fan off so that you guys can hear me clearly. But to the meat of the video, I had seen a lot of people and there's a couple people where I live with uh, one wheels, like there's a whole group of one wheels, but the EUCs, the, the one wheeled, uh, you know, clamp between your legs and they looked fun. So I ended up ordering one. And I'm pretty sure that this is uh, above my weight limit that I'm supposed to be lifting with my arm, but here it is. This is gonna be the InMotion V5. Now, I could have gotten the V5F, I think it is, or S. This one only it weighs, I think it's 24 pounds. Uh, it can go 24 miles and it can do 12 miles an hour, I think is the top speed limit on it. Uh, the other ones have a longer range and can do more speed, but I thought, for something to learn on, this would probably suffice. Plus it was cheap enough. If you are interested and you wanna check this out, there will be links as usual down below. As it is, I'm gonna do an unboxing. I'm going to attempt <laughs> to learn to write it, but I am actually giving this to one of my coworkers uh, that I've worked with for several years and there's a stupid fly bugging the hell out of me. But I'm gonna end up giving it to him. He has uh, several kids and he's the one that I ended up giving, if you guys remember the Wow Go uh, 2 skateboard, he's the one that I ended up giving that to and he actually uses it all the freaking time. And so I went, hey, you're good with your balance and everything. Uh, my concern with this is my ankle that I broke uh, four years ago or something like that. It still bothers me. I mean, there's still hardware and stuff in there. It still bothers me. So I am kind of concerned with that because I know standing on these, it tilts your ankles in and that's where I have an issue with this, but we'll give it a try. Definitely stick around uh, and watch me probably fall. I don't know. Definitely if you end up doing something like this, wear gear. Uh, I do have knee pads, I have elbow pads. I have gloves that have skid plates on them from when I had the skateboard, but I don't have any that have the brace protectors. Uh, I don't foresee going very fast since the max this, this can do is 12 miles an hour, but we will end up seeing. All right, uh, I'm actually going to take us down to the ground so that I don't drop this as we unbox it and I show you first look. Uh, I. It's still sealed. I haven't even cracked the tape on it. Probably unwise of me uh, having it this long and not cracking it open, but it is what it is. So let's jump to that. All right, so I got the little stool out. Uh, I need to paint this wall. Uh, I need to find out if I can, cause I rent and uh, sometimes they let you and sometimes they don't. Cause I hate this, like this is ugly as hell. But I wanted to go over because I hadn't looked at the InMotion page for uh, a while. So I should have brushed up on this before, but at least I'm giving you the info now. I do have to correct myself because I thought I had 24 mile range. That is the V5F. Um, max range on this one is 12 and a half miles, max speed 12 and a half miles per hour and 18 degree hill climbing. Uh, the motor is a 450 watt, uh, battery is 188 watt hours. The wheel is 14 inches, uh, IP55 water rating, and a max weight of 265 pounds. My wife was actually wondering if she could ride this, and I actually think she can. Maybe maybe she'll steal it from, uh, from Rex. It does have an anti-spin button so that 
if you are getting off of it and like picking it up quick to go up some stairs or something like that and you're not pulling up the trolley handle, it will stop the wheel from spinning until you hit that button again and it's underneath the handle. Again, IP55 rating. Uh, some of the differences besides like almost $300 difference, which if you check it out now at the link that I have down below, it's actually got a $100 off coupon on it. So that actually makes it very, very affordable. Now this is a like one of their first wheels. I think they came out with this wheel three, four wheels, uh, three, four years ago, something like that. And so now they're on the V12, I think, which is trying to compete with things like the Sherman, which is crazy. Those do like 60, 65 miles an hour and get a mileage rating of almost 200 miles, supposedly. Um, that's crazy. Um, but the difference between these is this one does 12 and a half. The V5F does 25 miles, uh, miles range, uh, 12 and a half miles per hour on this and 15.6 uh, on the V5F. Uh, that was another reason I went with this because it was cheaper. 450 watt motor versus a 550 watt motor. Same degrees as far as hill climbing. Uh, 188 watt hours versus 375 watt hours, uh, which makes sense because you're basically doubling the range on it. Um, same size dimensions, three and a half hour charge time versus four hours, which I'm pretty sure I have to charge this. Let's see, size is again, uh, same, 25 pounds uh, versus the other is 26 pounds, which kind of boggles me because it's double the battery capacity for the V5F, but there's only a pound difference. Um, something just doesn't seem right with that, but <clears throat> it is what it is. But like I said, um, if you want to check this out now at the link, uh, like I said below, it is an affiliate link because, well, I'm a whore like that. Um, but it is it does have a hundred dollar off coupon right now. Uh, I don't know if they're going to have other sales coming up for the holidays and stuff. Like I said, I haven't even cracked this open. It is my fault. So if something is wrong with this, I'm kind of screwed. I mean, I can contact in motion because I'm sure I know that there's a warranty with it. I do have to say how I got this from Amazon. There was a bigger box with some packing around it, which if you guys know how Amazon ships, when you get big, big stuff, like that minimal packing that to put around it doesn't do anything. So inside that box was this box and inside this box is this box. Holy crap. And it's, it's suction packed in there. Good Lord. Yes. I have now maximized my lifting capacity for that arm. Holy crap. Oh, that's going to be sore later. Okay. And I'm not sure what the V5C is. Uh, on the sides here, it has listed the V5, which this one's checked off, the V5C and the V5F. Um, I didn't see anything about the C, so I don't know if maybe that's a European thing. Um, but this is the box. Trust me, I have been being good, not cracking this open. Um, so we get an instruction booklet. Uh, it does have an app so that you can monitor uh, all of its uh, statistics, uh, battery, uh, battery percentage, uh, how the battery is wearing, things like that. All right, guys, so here we are. Uh, this is Future Dave, and uh, I'm coming to you from inside the studio where it's AC and it feels so much better in here. Uh, but I realized after I shot kind of talking you guys through what the manuals were, I might as well just stick to my regular thing and uh, come in here, make it precise. And so you guys can see, uh, so these are, and they actually feel like maybe they're gel filled, but these are the ankle, uh, cushions that go on there. And you guys can see what I was talking about. Like, I'm not sure why they're showing you without uh, shoes on because you should not be writing this without shoes on. And here we are. Oh, uh, one of the things I ended up finding is on the bigger box uh, that everything came in. There is one of these strips on there. So like I was talking about, uh, you uh, should probably like cut that off, keep that for your records uh, and or you could place it somewhere inside of the wheel. Uh, just in case anything ends up happening to it, you can prove that it's yours. Uh, this is just the general like do's and don'ts. It is currently downstairs uh, charging unpack warranty card helmet weight limit 
uh, people that shouldn't use uh, pregnant women, alcoholics, mentally ill people, patients with heart disease, children under six, and adults over 60. Well, that's kind of racist. Or not... Well, that's kind of age ageist. Like, I know people over their 60s that could probably use this uh, very well. Um... All right, the differences, uh, real quick, uh, going over uh, the, you can see that right here, the differences between the V5 and V5F, your different buttons, the wheel lock mode, this is what I was talking about, if you pick it up, the wheel will not spin while you're carrying it, and then once you put it down and go to mount it, let go, and it'll go, practice leaning against the wall, and then going from there, uh, definitely always end up wearing a helmet, like wear a helmet uh move backwards move forward turn left turn right uh the don'ts not meant for more than one rider don't jump and don't ride and jump don't ride on steps i've actually seen people do both of those things uh don't ride on lawn or cobbled roads i'm not sure why uh don't ride with only one foot don't ride wet and slippery roads watch your head while riding uh, don't ride where water level exceeds 10 centimeters. D uh, don't lean forward suddenly. Yeah, it'll, there's actually a cutoff and it'll shut itself off and basically lock itself up and you're kind of screwed. Uh, let's see here. Do not disassemble on your own. Here's our other manual. We'll just flip through it real quick in case there's anything that you guys want to see. Uh, handlebar assist mode. Uh, V5 version. A handlebar must be purchased uh, from InMotion installed users assist. Uh, lower power. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, button for preventing tire rotation, overspeed protection, uh, slant protection, the InMotion app. I still need to download that. Uh, let's see here. How to use preparations before riding. Steps for the beginner, maintenance and service, air inflation uh, is a 2.8 bar. Okay, I'll have to do the conversions into pounds on that. Uh, precautions for cleaning and use, uh, legal statement, use statement, blah, 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 personal information statement, lots of statements, intellectual property statement, contact us. And then there's this one, which is i think your warranty card product and service uh let's see here the warranty this is important uh the whole scooter one year uh including led scooter enclosure uh decorating parts pedal built in music bluetooth except battery uh inner and outer tires lithium battery pack six months inner and outer tires uh three months and more of your warranty stuff so it's got a decent warranty on it some of the others only have like 90 day so that's that's boo all right let's get back to hot me in the past we have a power plug we have i can only assume a charging brick oh my god they've done away with that's one thing I have to give for these kind of things is where with the Wolf Warrior, it basically uses, and I actually have, I got from a guy in Poland, I think, um, the hardware and stuff to change the charging ports on the Wolf Warrior. Because basically what a lot of the scooters, they've changed it around because there's a new uh, European standard, which is much, much safer. But basically on the others, what they've done is they've taken the three prong um, microphone ports and they've turned those into charging um, ports, <clears throat> which is actually very unsafe. Um, because if you hit them, because um, there's always current going to that plug. If you hit them, if you get a rock in there, if you get, God forbid, a piece of metal in there or something like that, and the pins crisscross against each other, you're going to short out your battery uh, and probably cause a fire. Um, so those are actually very unsafe. Uh, I always suggest keeping the plugs over the ports uh, and being safe when you plug them in. But yeah, that's basically all those are. Uh, I do plan on doing a video at some point when I do the revision for the plugs on that. 
uh, it'll be changing over because I have a dual. I have a, a big brick and a the standard one that came with that. I can fully charge that one in, I want to say two, two and a half hours, where I, with the normal brick, it takes it almost 17 hours. So this one actually has a square uh, with a pin in the center. I actually haven't seen one like this, but very cool. And what does it charge at? Looks like it charges at 1.5 amps. Yeah, output, 84 volts, 1.5 amps. So, <clears throat> so it is basically a trickle charger, but given the size of the battery, that's probably what it, what it needs and is optimized for. Uh, you do get a nice foam packing around it, if you guys can see that. And, and it, like a whole layer of silica packets in the bottom. Now I'm kind of curious. It feels like the tire's got some air in it. It smells like when you go to the, um, to the store or the tire store. It smells like brand new tire. Uh, okay, so I know some people enjoy this part. Peel off the protective tape. So uh, I think what they're talking about for that, uh, the stop motion, like when you're going for the stop roll, uh, right underneath here, and it has good tactile feedback. Uh, you don't have to grip it really hard. So that part's really nice. Um, it does have cushions up here for your inner calf, uh, which I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, that's pleather. Um, but it's got some good cushion. So, and if you guys can see, this is up here. And try not to knock it off my leg. Um, this is what I was talking about that I'm concerned with for my one ankle is how these are at an angle so it pushes your leg against it. So that is my one concern on that. Um, but nice grip tape on here. It feels nice and stable. They have their in motion like logo that's in a raised rubber, uh, which is almost irritating because the whole surface isn't flat to me, but that's just me. Uh, does look good. Because it's hot, this tape kind of wants to lift a little bit. Almost wish these had a kickstand. Um, let's see here. Long press to turn uh, on off the vehicle. Well, let's see what happens. Honestly, I probably need to charge this. Um, charging ports back here, and there is a reset button back here. Uh, you actually have the serial number printed on here, which I like just in case something ends up happening um, Though I'm hoping I'm not going to tear it apart to find out But I'm hoping that, that uh, somewhere inside there's another sticker that has the serial number in there uh, I am noticing on this one side like I said, I will give you guys my honest opinion and thoughts This is just the initial unboxing um, There are some scuffs on the aluminum uh, that hold this pedal not a big deal because honestly like this will probably get scratched up within the first like five minutes of me using it um, So we will charge it up. This is a 14 inch wheel uh, 14 by 2.15 54 uh, 254 um, Some nice tread on here And I'm just looking up underneath and okay so there is a panel on here which there so there is a panel on here i was kind of concerned about getting to uh the spigot for tightening or for filling up the air uh this panel does raise up for that does it give you access to anything else nope does have a little debris in there. It's tire debris. It's like rubber debris. Um, I do feel a little drag, but I think that's normal for these. My only concern is 
which I mean, you don't have that much clearance is getting the spigot to be able to uh, fill that up. But come on. So you kind of have to twist to get each side on. Uh, let's flip it over the other side. And there's one on this side as well. I'm assuming maybe this is access to, to checking the nuts and bolts, uh, attaching the, the rim to the motor section. Um, I'm going to do some research about like weatherproofing because, well, that's a safe thing to do. If there is not a serial number on the inside, uh, I would probably suggest maybe on the underside of here or something like that, or on the rim, um, making your own sticker or something to stick up underneath here with the serial number. Uh, somewhere that's inconspicuous, but that you know where it is and you can tell the police if it gets stolen, uh, jacked from you, something like that, um, that you can tell them where to look because that also helps you with stolen property. Uh, the case on this, because it is shiny, is a fingerprint magnet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into the charging station over there, let her charge up, and then we will do another video. But uh, as far as the quality and everything, just from an initial, uh, I'm, I'm very happy. It, to me, it's worth the money. Maybe I'll end up liking this better than I do the Wolf Warrior and we'll end up seeing on that. All right, guys, so I hope that someone enjoyed and this was helpful to someone, at least the initial unboxing. Like I said, I do need to charge this up uh, and then we'll go through all the sayings and everything when I do my actual review. And you guys can probably laugh at me when I follow my butt trying to learn how to use it. Unless I really fall in love with this and I find it more comfortable and easier than um, the Wolf Warrior, than the scooter, um, I'm going to be giving this one to my coworker, uh, which is retiring out of our office soon. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, if you did, hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It means a lot to me, uh, which thinking of, we just hit 21,000, uh, which is a phenomenal. Uh, and thank you so much for everybody that uh, has subscribed and hung around. Definitely stay tuned. As usual with my unboxings and reviews, I will be absolutely honest with you guys. Um, I'm not paid for these. Sometimes I get stuff for free. It doesn't matter. I will still be brutally honest. Um, I will ding things where they need to be dinged and uh, give praise where they need to be given praise. So there's no point in lying to you guys because all that does is end up hurting me in the long run because it makes me look like a liar. Hope you guys all enjoy. Thank you from Star Shadow Woodworks and Hobbies. Got to throw that in there. Um, I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you very much. Peace. Oh my God, it's so hot. <laughs> I'm melting.